actually letting Yudro know in case there was any doubt. Where is it? Factual Allegiance is live. Well, hello, Yudro Takahashi, says the bottom of the boots of Bushi. This non-tournament match gets underway. Yudro sitting in a decent position with four points. The forfeit, Tetsuya Naito, those two points, plus his upset victory in the tournament start against Kota Ibushi. So, circumstances being what they are, regardless, Yujiro could say, I got G1 wins over Naito and Ibushi. <laughs> That's exactly correct. You know there's an asterisk go for the Naito up there. He's gonna take that for sure. Not in Yujiro's book. His ledger will be asterisk free. But this would be clearly embarrassing to Yujiro and, and might slow down any momentum he would have if he falls victim to Bushi here tonight. Yudro, of course, is the favorite, and looks like he cracked his uh, right bicep on the fence on the outside of the ring. Bushi with the neck breaker. Well done. Cover. Here we go. Who's this new ref? Oh, Sakamoto is, is our referee for today. Yuya. Yuya Sakamoto. That's an easy one. And Taito Nakabayashi is the other one, right? <laughs> He's not so easy, is he? I know him. But we all, we know both of these guys, and uh, you know they they've worked their way up from from different parts of the company. And always wanted to be involved in in this scene. And Does anyone work their way down in a company? Uh, I'll I'll ask you again about six months later. Wait, what? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'll be swabbing out toilets by the end of the year, folks. No, Bushi uh, moving effectively here. There's always the risk of a letdown. I, I, you know, you get yourself geared up for nine singles matches, and Yudro is still going to have nine singles matches. But this one is against Bushi, at junior heavyweight, and it's not for points. So Tagaloa slowly getting to his feet, and now Ishii. Tagaloa, the presence of mind to kick that lariating arm of Ishii, but strikes firmly, does Ishii with the forearm. to position him for the sliding lariat. Oh, but no, man! Wow! Oh, my! That drop kick, something Tangelo has been keeping in his back pocket. Pulled it out at just the right time. Lift and drive from Tangelo. He and Tomohiro Ishii, what a battle. Our first G1 Climax match of the night here in the A block. Is she dazed and confused? Yeah, you can see. <laughs> she with the presence of mind. Now each taking turns, swatting the arms away. Underneath the clothesline goes Ishii. Collision. The gun went off here in Corcoran. And now just like Tamatunga last night, Tangaloa going up high. Headline. 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 Vessel dive, hit one, two, and he kicked out. Going straight for Great Okan. Yeah, I was focusing on the takedown by Okan, but. Uh, ah, there you go. Uh, and now the Great Okan finds himself in submission difficulty. Three submission wins for Zach so far. Trying to lace his fingers behind the back, stop the top wrist, like the double wrist lock for Zach Sabre Jr. Legs under the bottom rope. Marty Asami calls for break. Great referee to have, by the way, as the official for this match. Marty also has an extensive combat sports fighting background. All right, then I'll show you, man. Come on, big boy. Great Khan's reach coming into. Uh, 
helpful yeah. effect there. I wonder as, as we have been grappling through the start of this match and both men seem to enjoy it. Will Great Okan stay on the mat or will he go for those strikes? He's a proficient karate expert and kickboxer as well. Oh, that's slick. Wow. Man, that size, rolling himself up and under to get to the leg. And you could tell he had that leg lock perfectly applied. Zach shouting out in pain. Such a satisfying sound for Great Okan to hear. Directly into the shin bone. Toriano is legally appointed second. It does say so on the bag. It's allowed to be there. I, I think he's maybe taking exception with what's in the bag. It's his second. His second. Oh, oh no. no! Wait a minute! One, two! Oh man, his second did a run in. Oh, here we go again. Two! Ibushi tried to get out of that bag and Yano pulled it back on. And Ibushi's trying to figure out which end is up as the drawstring. Now, oh no! This is the best burrito I've ever eaten. He's about to claim another victim. Trying to Houdini his way out. No, oh, he's, he's got, got his hands out. And the bag. Okay, okay. Oh, thank God. Yano wipes himself out. Drop kick. Ibushi. Yano's rolling to the floor. Be careful. Be careful, Kota. I mean, grabbing hold that trophy, protecting it like the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Plancha. Again, the opposite as far as time. Ibushi's 17.09 average. Again, just the, the champion's pride, but it's costing him with every blow that wins. Ooh. Gets it really forcing Shingo here. To trade with him. A surge of adrenaline. Uh, it'll only last so long. There you go. Oh, man. Looping. Bomb strikes. Oh, he's wailing on him. How many times did we see it? What's strong in those defenses of that briefcase when those fists open up and that back fist as well. The psyche, no. Need kick instead. In close with Shingo. Wait a minute, made it Japan, made it Japan. Shingle was playing for the three count there. With that DVD, the Made in Japan as well, not as high and tight as Shingo usually likes to have it. It's loose, it's going with just enough that he can grab a handle off to hit the maneuver. And now Shingo Tagagi saying it's payback time. 
what does Shingo have in mind here? Kenta was covered up. And now Shingo's going to look to open up the offense and put Kenta away. Yeah. 